Thanks a lot for joining us today, Mark. Yeah, no worries. First of all, congratulations on recently achieving the Sir John Monash Scholarship. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks. So, could you tell us a bit more about the scholarship and what it means for you? Yeah, sure thing. Um, so, the John Monash Scholarship is a sort of prestigious Australian scholarship to allow Australians to go overseas to study postgraduate studies. So, um, uh, It'll cover up to three years of study. Uh, I'm planning on going and doing a two-year Masters of Computer Science at Stanford University. Awesome. Uh, I did a brief exchange there a couple of years ago. I really loved it and I'm really keen to go back. Great. And I know a lot of people have heard about Bloom um, here at UWA. Um, how did you manage to go about creating this community of young entrepreneurs? Yeah, so I've been running Bloom for about three and a half years now. Um, and really it came out of my experiences with another social enterprise, Teach, Learn, Grow. Um, so that was started by uh, one of my friends, uh, Dave Sherwood, and by getting involved in that, well, firstly I had a lot of fun, but also I learned a lot of things and uh, skills that I probably wouldn't have learned if I was just doing my degree. And through that, I realized that really we need to be doing more to help other young people and students to, uh, to you know, develop those skills and have an opportunity and be supported in being entrepreneurial. And I think Bloom's probably an example of this. At a recent presentation you gave, you said that your university journey has been quite unconventional. Can you explain a bit more about that? Yeah, totally. Um, so I guess, you know, there's a, a lot of students when they come out of high school and they've done like pretty well, uh, you know, they kind of get pushed towards being a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. Uh, I thought I was going to be a doctor. I did about a year of biomedical sciences, realized that wasn't really for me, mm -hmm. uh, switched more towards psychology. Uh, and then the op I had the opportunity to do an exchange over at Stanford and picked up some computer science when I was there and basically saw how computer science was being used by students there um, to apply to a whole heap of different problems, um, like real world business problems. And so mm. it wasn't just like this geeky thing to do in like this yeah. dark room on your own, you know? And uh, so I was so inspired that when I came back, I um, changed my degree at UWA oh, wow. in computer science, um, and so yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Um, but I'm really glad that I've kind of I had that opportunity to try a lot of different things, and and certainly what I've done with Bloom has been really helpful too. And what do you think has been your proudest achievement in your journey as an entrepreneur? Yeah, I mean it's hard to you know hard to reflect on that as an entrepreneur because you're always focusing on the things that you can improve, right? right. Um, but I think probably it's around building this sort of community. I, I didn't really realize how difficult that would be when I started. Um, mm. We kind of just fell onto it, and you know at the start we were this tiny like group of people just meeting up, and over time we've really you know we've had almost sort of five thousand students come to our events in the last two years. Um, you know, we work with about 50 young entrepreneurs now. So, and that sort of, I think that, you know, the strength of our community and the fact that it's growing really organically is something I'm proud of. Yeah, Bloom is so successful now, but as you said, it hasn't always been that way. What, yeah. what were some of the challenges that you faced along the way? Yeah, well, I mean, it's only just been like a hot thing to be interested yeah. in innovation, <laughs> entrepreneurship and stuff for like the last year really. I mean, oh, when wow. we started, uh, we were in the middle of the mining boom still. So um, not that many people were interested in what we were doing because they were like, well, I can just go to the mines and make heaps of money. Mm. And what does it matter? Um, and so I guess, you know, we probably had maybe a couple of years there where it was just a tough slog. No one really was paying attention to what we did except for a small amount of people who were already kind of on the journey with us. And uh, I guess that's kind of, that's, that's the case for a lot of young entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs generally is that not many people care for a long time and then you have like this, something will change and you get something right and it'll be like, seem like an overnight success, but really you've been just struggling for years. Mm. <laughs> And for the you know, young people that are looking to pursue entrepreneurship and launch their own startup, what advice would you give them? Well, entrepreneurship is a tough journey, mm -hmm. but it's totally worthwhile. Um, I wouldn't uh, have spent the last four years in any other way. Uh, the opportunities that I've had by going slightly off the beaten track have been so valuable. Because everyone comes to me saying that entrepreneurship is such a risky thing to do, but uh, really, like, it, it's 
especially when you're a young entrepreneur, mm. you actually don't have that much to risk. Uh, you're at the start of your career. You tend to not have, you know, you don't have like a mortgage or anything like that. Right. Um, you know, the riskiest thing is actually to be conservative and just go with the flow because that's how you end up um, going down dead ends and that's how you end up just having sort of a mediocre life, mm. I guess, rather than having something that actually matters to you and that you're passionate about. I think the most important thing that I've learned is to really focus on in on... Um, you know trying to solve like a problem for you know someone or a small group of people right like too many uh entrepreneurs um come up with these great elaborate ideas and solutions to problems uh that they think exist but and they actually never ask people whether those problems are real to them and like how much they care okay. about those uh about what the solution that they're offering so i think the most important thing is to get out there as soon as possible talk to as many people, try and understand um, their lives and their problems, um, and then you can make a business out of that. And what are some opportunities that people looking to uh, pursue entrepreneurship um, can get through Bloom? Yeah, so I mean with Bloom, we're really here to be this sort of um, one-stop shop for young entrepreneurs. Um, so really all you need is, a, is an idea that you're passionate about, uh, and you know you need to be willing to work hard and then mm. we can provide the co-working space the workshops mentoring um, professional services uh, help with marketing and recruitment and all those sort of things that you need to actually get off the ground um, in particular if you're a student at UWA we've got this really exciting program that we're running next uh, next semester so okay. we're actually launching a unit so students at UWA will be able to uh, uh, apply with an idea for a business and we'll support them through the semester to develop that into a real business and uh, and they'll get credit for that towards their degree. Awesome. So just like kind of how a normal unit works. Yeah, kind of, but far more practical. Yeah. Um, that's the thing that makes it really different. It's not like a standard business unit. Um, and it's really exciting that UWA is, is willing to do this with us. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Mark. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everything that comes out of Bloom soon. Yeah, it's been great to chat.